how to wire a new residential construction. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about manual transfer switches. So what we have behind us or next to us here is a 30 amp manual generator transfer switch. And um, this is basically so the power can be transferred back and forth between the utility and the grid. We're going to do another video on how the generator actually works and how it works in an outage. But for today, we're just going to talk about the manual transfer switch part. Now, one important thing to note about a manual transfer switch, they're a little bit different for every country. Uh, so here in Canada, the rules are a little bit different than in the U.S. So right here in Canada, we have... Uh, a three pole switch on each side. So it has a neutral and two hots on each side. One side is the utility and the other side is the generator. So what this is, is it's called an interlock. So the interlock uh, prohibits you from turning both on at once. You see, you can't turn both on at once. And the reason for this is so that you don't use your generator in back feed to the grid. Uh, the grid to back feed is very dangerous during an outage, so you don't want to do that. So you literally, uh, right now, this would be in utility mode because it's on utility. And in the event of an outage, you would simply shut off the utility, spin this little thing around, and turn on your generator. Um, so that way, then the utility can't come on. After the outage is over, you'd simply turn off the generator, go back around, and turn on the grid. Now in the U.S. I noticed that there's some devices that you can get that bolt on to a square D panel um, and I do believe that that is uh, allowed in, in the U.S. Here in Canada that is not allowed so we have to supply an actual generator panel. Um, and we have to do a three line break so basically the neutral needs to be broken on both sides, the hots need to be broken on both sides and this is to completely isolate the generator from the grid. So that's all on uh, generator switches. I hope you liked uh, the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll put a link below in the uh, description, guys, for what we recommend for products on generator panels. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.